Have you ever seen a movie where one of the actors has a million dollars in a suitcase? <laughs> well, with powers of 10, we can see what that really looks like. Check this out. Here, we have $10. Now, if we multiply that by 10, how much would we have? 10 times 10 is 100, so we would have $100. If this pile has 100 and we multiply by 10 again, then the next pile will have 1,000. The next pile has 10 times as much, so $10,000. And this pile has 10 times as much as the previous one, so $100,000. And finally, $1 million. Whoa! This is 10 times as much. $1 million can be represented as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Yes, you can see that each pile has 10 times more than the next one. This chart shows three different ways to write each number. There's number form, like 1,000. There's expanded form, which is 10 times 10 times 10. And now we have another way to show this number, using powers of 10. What patterns do you notice in this table? The power of 10 shows us how many times to multiply by 10. Yes, anything else? How many zeros there are in the number is the same as the number in the power of 10. Great observation. Another pattern is that each time you multiply by 10, the digit shift one position to the left. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through 8, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.